Hello, everybody, and welcome to our super spooky Halloween episode. Closet. In the closet. <laughs> I just need to acknowledge we're in the closet. Wah ha ha ha! I'm Andrew. <laughs> and I'm Louise, and we're the Christmas Couple Fall Edition. <laughs> we are going to talk about all of our favorite Halloween things today. Yeah. I don't have anything planned. This is all just off the cuff. So forgive us if this sounds super rambly. Why do you like Halloween? I'm sorry. I love Halloween because it's such a fun thing. Like, okay, so I'm a I'm a theater kid. And so I feel like getting dressed up and pretending to be someone else is like really fun. When was the last time you trick or treated? Tri oh, last time tricked or trapped? Trick or treated? Treated. Yeah, I tricked or trapped when I was 18. <laughs> I dressed up as a fairy and my friend Lauren and I went with her older brother and his friend. So they were what, like 20? Did anybody give you any crap? No crap. A lot of candy. The last time I went was after college. Yeah, you were a full-fledged adult, <laughs> is what it was. I was a grown human male. Yes, and the way he got away with it was by wearing a green man, if you're, uh, it's always sunny It was sunny like fans. a full green morph suit. Yeah. I never, I didn't say anything. I didn't even say, I don't even think I said trick or treat. No, you just creepy walked up to the I just stood up the door bag. and held out my bag. He got a good amount of candy. Nobody said people. anything to me till like the end of the night where one lady did not want to give me candy. And she was like, you're too old to be doing this. Really? Does it really matter? Also, what if you were just like a really large child? Like, yeah. what if you were- Well, that's what I was going for. Some kind of like- No. no. But like, if you're giving out candy- They like, give out candy, like- Who cares if- someone comes and they're too old to be getting candy. In fairness, when I'm giving out candy, I do expect the kids to say trick or treat. They can't just be like, give me it. That's fair. But like, and if you want to give more to the younger kids and less to the like adults, like also when kids, that makes sense. But yeah. to be like, no, I'm not giving you I know, you like that's candy. not in the spirit of the, I don't know. That's so but, dumb. That's well, a good way to get your house wrapped. Or oh, egged. <laughs> Although don't do that. That's so crappy. I hate when people do that. I'm just saying, if you sell someone there and can't get any candy, that's a good way to get your lawn forked. <laughs> My father-in-law, Andrew's dad, does a really cool haunted house. So tons of people come to their house. He does this huge thing in the lawn, this huge like graveyard with buttons you can push. It's really and a fun thing And then he does a big community. show in the driveway An with animatronic, a huge protector like, screen. Pumpkin. And then this thing. huge walkthrough maze all the way up the driveway, all the way through the garage and all the way out. They, can't, is, use, they can't use their driveway for like two months. It is a production. Yeah, it's a whole thing. And he loves Halloween. And I was an actor in it the first year, like scaring people, but... There were too many middle schoolers being like, I'm not even scared of you. And I was like, your energy is just no. I never got that. I think that's what happens when you're not scary is people will say that to you. Oh, so. no. Yeah, Halloween for me also growing up in Ohio, like it's so, it's the, it's like the pinnacle of fall. It's really cold and there are like autumn leaves and it's, it's just so fun. It's so funny, the the disparity there where you had like these hot Halloweens really for the most part. And mine was sometimes we had to go trick or treat at the mall when they would do it indoors because it was just too cold. <laughs> what is your favorite movie to watch? At Pocus Halloween? Pocus and When Harry Met Sally. Although that's really not a Halloween it's not, movie. That's a fall movie. But I love it. Obviously we we like um, Pocus Pocus. <laughs> well then what, if that's your favorite, what's your favorite like scary Halloween Ooh. movie? Ooh. I don't know. I'll think it's on definitely it. not Scream. You won't even watch it this year. No, no, no. I'm fine watching the movies. He asked me if I wanted to watch the Scream TV show, and I was like, No. no. I also said we should run through the whole Scream and series. And I said okay. And then every time I bring it up, you're like, Meh. I don't wanna. What is your favorite? Trick or treat. Trick or treat. I like a good that anthology movie. That is a good movie. one. I do like that one. Mm -hmm. With Anna Paquin being a werewolf or something. Yeah, a bunch of different separate stories, and then <sighs> they all kind of tie together at the end a little bit. Yeah, yeah and it feels very Halloween-y. Who's your favorite horror movie character, icon? Like villain? Yeah. I Well, as far as like scariest, I think Freddy Krueger is probably the scariest to me. Not like scariest looking per se, but like the idea that like he can do anything in your dreams because like you're totally incapacitated. Where is all That's the other- That's my thing. Huh? That's mine. What do you mean? You've Freddy never... Krueger is the scariest to me because- You've never can... told me that yes, before. Yes, I have. We had what? this discussion and you said yours was Michael Myers. I don't remember this, this conversation is in for one. Okay, in college. Here's what's so funny. There are so many 
memories that he's just like, I don't remember that happening. His she's just completely, horrible. She's just completely transplanted my like into her own thing. Even the reasoning for it. It sounds scary. I guess you can be you converted me to that line of thing. I don't remember saying Michael. Well, no, I'm going to sound like a buffoon when I also say Freddy Krueger. Bummer. Probably just have to cut around this whole thing. No, we agree on that. He's convinced me and yet is upset about it. <laughs> yeah, OK, I truly have no recollection of that conversation whatsoever. Oh, I like Charlie Brown. Um, the Great, Great Pumpkin. pumpkin I love Brown. that. That's yeah. not scary. But we watch that cute. a lot. The music of it is so cute. I love it. We literally got Apple TV so we could watch that. <laughs> we totally did. OK, other things about Halloween that I love. Candy corn. It's either you love it or you hate it. Actually, I, I hated it until I met you, and then wait, you just wait. always had some. And okay, hold on. I did not always have some. You make me sound like I always have pockets full of candy corn. She did. During In Halloween. her purse. Pumpkins. I remember when I blew your mind when I showed you that if you stack them all up, then it makes an actual corn on the cob. That still blows my mind, actually. People Bottom. are like, why are they called candy corn? What's your, never had one. what's your Halloween story where you get like pushed off the... Oh, yeah. My friend, she was like a TV or something. So she was dressed as a TV and had a big old box around her. And we were trick-or-treating together. And I went up onto the stoop to get some candy. And she also came up and there were no railings around. There was like three steps up and then like bushes, like hedges on the side. And she went up and goes, trick-or-treat! And just knocks me into the bushes. So little Louise is like, Wah! I may have been Big Bird that year, <laughs> but like in a cute costume with like a thing. I don't thing. know why that makes it so much funnier. Yeah, the Big Bird is like flung like off. Flapping your arms. <laughs> like, wait. I liked Power Rangers, but I really technically wasn't allowed to watch it, so I could only watch it at my friend's house because it was too. There were a lot of things that Louis too was violent. Not to I was watch. not allowed to watch a lot of things that were considered violent. Looney like Tunes. Looney Tunes was my dad really afraid I was going to drop an anvil on someone's head. I wanted to be the pink Power Ranger so badly. We couldn't find it because we went shopping too late for costumes and I had to get the red Power Ranger. But that one's a boy. And I'm walking into like the trick or treat situation they had at our school. And a kid goes, what are you a boy? And I was like, no. That's why I always tell Olivia, if you're wearing it, it's not boy clothes. I agree totally, especially because like she loves Spider-Man. Like you're not going to find, unfortunately, something in like the girls section, but it's like it's BS. Go shop wherever you want, whatever you like, like who cares? That's another thing. If kids don't have a bag or a pillowcase or something, if they just like literally hold their hands out, I'm like, I, what, no, what are you doing? You What's won't give them candy if they hold their hands out. I there, I had kids who are like in regular plain street clothes that just walked up to me with their hands out and didn't say anything. And I was like, yeah, you gotta say, say you gotta say something. something even Especially if you I put, last if you have put forth, no, you had a you had a costume in a bag. Yeah, it was a bit. I was doing a bit. There was no effort whatsoever. They just like happened to be there, and we're like, oh, they're doing candy. All right. Question: How come in the in the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, they always say tricks or treats? All you have to do is walk up to a house, ring the doorbell, and say tricks or treats. Because they want multiples. But it, was greedy. that a thing? Was that a thing? Like in the past? In the past, it was tricks or treats. I don't know. Because all the characters say it. it's not like one like yeah. speech impediment for Lucy or something. <laughs> Maybe it's a New England thing. Right. Hey, New England watchers. Tricks or treats? Um, I remember going trick or treating and like freaking out when we'd get like a full size candy bar. Like that was so exciting. I was like, this is a jackpot. I would look in the house and be like, must, you guys must be rich. We like what, you're gonna go in and rob them? Is that what that is? No, <laughs> just scoping out the place. Just you got anything cool on the walls? Like big candy bars just hanging around? And then I remember going to trick or treating. Apparently, I lived near enough my third grade teacher because we were at Miss Bishop's house, and all of a sudden I see her, and I'm like, oh, "This is awkward." And then she gave me a ruler. Ew. I mean, learning, what are you doing? Learning things are not. Too I don't dumb. want a ruler. I don't want a pencil. I don't want a toothbrush. I don't want like pennies. Did you ever get pennies? Uh, no. I had someone give me pennies. Maybe it was at the end of the night, and they were out of quarters. There was a lady once who we were walking up to the house and we were like, they have really weird Halloween decorations. They were like uh, peanuts thrown all over, like in the shell, thrown all over their yard. And we we're like, Why don't, I don't even understand what this is. What, is, what are they doing? And so we go up and we say trick or treat and she she hands us all these peanuts, like a handful, like a handful peanuts. of peanuts in the shell. So and so that's what was happening is she would close the door and the kids would walk out kids and just dump all the peanuts in her yard. No. 
you know, they get enough candy. I'm not going to, they're going to get peanuts for me because they don't need one more piece of candy as if like they're helping the neighborhood by not handing out a piece of candy. No, it's, that's it's, so see, dumb. That's such a pain in the butt because like it's the one night. <laughs> if you are the person who hands out stuff besides candy on Halloween, you need Boo. to reevaluate your life. Boo. I love Halloween. It's the best. It's such a fun holiday. Another thing I hate is when parents are like, the devil. Oh, all Hallow's Eve, it's devil, witchcraft. Like, I'm like, oh my God, let your child dress up. Those are the same parents who won't let their kids read Harry Potter. Yeah, I don't understand that. This year we're going as Ghostbusters. Yeah, Olivia's request. That was Olivia's choice too. Yeah, and then I Andrew... showed her ghosts. I forced Ghostbusters on her the I movie. I don't think you forced it. You said it's spooky and she loves spooky stuff, so. But she said she wanted to be a Ghostbuster this year, so we got costumes. She and... loves the song, loves the song. We'll sing it, knows like all the words. I got a legit Ghostbusters costume. I got a less legit one because Andrew just ordered me whatever, I guess. Well, yeah, because mine was really expensive, so I didn't want to get two of them. Yeah, it's fine. And I asked her, I was like, do you want all the fancy expensive stuff? And she said, nah. Nah, nah it's fine. <laughs> look, at, look at this Ghostbuster. Just a couple of Ghostbusters busting ghosts. Busting makes me feel good. <laughs> Well, that's us. That's Halloween. That's fun Halloween. Those memories. are our thoughts on Halloween. I love Halloween. Give out candy. Don't be weird. Or or if you don't really want to give it out because like COVID reasons or whatever, like set stuff out. Let oh, kids come get it. Also, Bible verses, they're great. That's awesome if that's what you want to give. But give candy with it, please. Wait, like what? Someone just gave you a Bible oh, verse? Oh, maybe that's not a thing. Maybe it's just a our neighborhood thing when maybe, I was a kid. Honey. It was like slips of paper. Like in a package and there are Bible verses on and it. And no candy. No, there's no candy in it. Uh -uh. That's not okay. Uh -uh. Yay, Jesus. Also, yay, candy. Know your place. Like, yeah. come on.